Hey guys, welcome back to Back to the Future, episode 4, Double Visions. This is Yutiang for this, and uh, we are basically going to make uh, Emmett Brown look like a degenerate criminal who is a slob and is a philanthropist. Well, hopefully. There you go. Okay, Emmett, get ready to meet the new you. Hey, what? I almost left behind my mind map card. We're gonna show it off at the expo as a rare example of a model citizen. Edna kill me if I forgot that. She might kill you anyway when she gets a look at that mind map. <laughs> Once Emmett gets to the expo, I'll try to figure out how to get him to put his card in the mental alignment meter. But for now, I better concentrate on making Emmett a slob who cheats on his girlfriend. Well, first off, we need to figure out where he keeps a... a, uh... Photo album. Yes, we're looking for photo albums. I, that's the only thing we need left before we head back to the expo. It should be somewhere around here. Should be. Uh, Emmett, do you have a... Emmett? Yeah? Do you have a photo album that I can see? Where are things between you and your father? I'm kind of surprised he hasn't torn down your lab yet. Well, he's still angry with me and threatening to cut me out of his will, but I'm hoping that the civic potential of my mental alignment meter will win him over. Hmm. You get back to work. We'll, we'll catch up later. Thanks. There should be a... <laughs> What's this? It's the placard we'll be putting in front of our booth at the expo. The scientist that caught Kid Tannen? A small exaggeration, but Edna says it'll attract investors. What do you think of the picture? It looks like you're taking a dump. You look a little... constipated. What? Edna said I looked intense. Yeah, intensely focused on taking it. I get the picture. Hmm. I'll have to find a better one. Unfortunately, there's a lot to choose from. Heavy. Extremely. Mother has been rather obsessive about photographically cataloging my life. Huh. This could be useful. Thank you for your photo album. Hey, Emmett. I've got an idea. What? Why don't I take your photo album over to Edna so she can pick out your new picture? That's a great idea. She's got a better eye for these things than I do anyway. Thanks, pal. Don't mention it. Hmm. Anyway, time to vamoose. Hmm. What? I was just thinking about the future. All that talk about Edna's grandfather made me realize something. Please let it be something about lightning. Life can be short, sometimes brutally so. So, why not seize the day and grab your happiness while you can? I'm not sure I like where this is going. I was saving this for next Valentine's Day, but why should I? I know what I want. Emmett, no. I'm going to ask Edna to marry me. Right now. No. Oh, right, right. I'll wait until tonight at the expo. It'll be much more romantic that way. Just think. By this time tomorrow, Edna and I will be engaged and will be the toast of the scientific community. And I owe it all to you. You're welcome. Yeah. Bad idea, buddy. Bad idea. Hey, Emmett. I've got to go out for a while. I thought Edna sent you to make sure I wasn't getting distracted. Oh, you'll be fine. I got to go get Edna's opinion about the picture anyway. You know. Oh, hey, the other exhibit is open now. Sweet. Finally can get the last prop for Trixie Trotter. Because... Furs. Times may be hard in Hill Valley, but our present worries fade into insignificance when we ponder our Pleistocene past. Is the wolf knocking at your door? Be glad he's not a Tyrannosaurus, king of the ancient lizards. 
And if you find yourself drowning in debt, well, you could be drowning in something a whole lot stickier. Like the Hill Valley Tar Pits. This peek into the distant past is brought to you by Lamont's House of Urban. Reminding you, fur is forever. Fur is forever. Furs donated by Lamont's House of Ermine. At least they're going to a good cause. They're stuck tight in this tar. Huh. Let's see if we can clean up that tar a little bit. It's a good thing I did this before Emmett's 12 hour time limit, where the cleanser might have dissolved the fur. <laughs> Let's slip out of those furs, shall we? Yoink, thank you. Alright. Trixie, I think I got everything you need. Hi, Trix. Oh, hiya, kiddo. Say, wouldn't it be easiest if I just march up to that Strickland dame and give her a smack in the puss? Well, it would be fun to watch, but I wouldn't get her to break up with my friend Emmett. Oh, right. You got all the props I asked for? The furs and the diamond? And your friend's photo album? Not all of them yet, but I'm working on it. Good. I mentioned to give Miss High and Mighty an eyeful. Really? I have all of them. I have the mink, I have the photo album, and I have the freaking diamond. What the devil, Artie, Marty? Do I have to give them to her one by one? Here, have a fur, Trixie! Hey, Trixie. Are these furs good enough? Well, they're a little ratty, but, uh, they'll work. How about the diamond in the photo album? I'll get them to you. Yeah, I have to click on them one at a time and be like, there you go. I brought him its photo album like you asked. Let's see. Gee, he's not bad looking. In an egghead kind of way. Remember, I don't want you seducing him for real. I ain't a cradle robber, kiddo. Now bring me that diamond and we'll be in business. Sweet. Here's your diamond. Voila. Say, pretty snazzy for a phony rock. Gimme. Keep that up and I may take a real shine to ya. I'd rather you take a fake shine to Emmett. I'm working on it. So, you got everything you need for your big scene? Everything except for your friend. Emmett Brown, redheaded guy about yay high. He'll be the one with Edna Strickland. Not for long he won't. Great. Marty, you two-timing... Yeah. It's kind of making me feel bad for the poor guy. But what needs to be done, needs to be done. Doc said to tell him when the light on his diagnostic thingy went green. Hey, the light's green. That means Doc could take the DeLorean out again. Sweet. Now, before we do, spray bottle. There you go. It'll be safe in there. Yeah. Get the time... Get it aged 12 hours, and we'll be good to go. Hey, Doc. I mean, uh, Mr. Sagan. Excuse me a moment, Miss Strickland. I've got her neutralized for the moment. How's the plan proceeding on your end? I got everything uh, going out. I just need you to take the DeLorean out. About that gizmo you've got hooked up to the DeLorean? The chronometric analyzer? Yeah, the light's gone green. Wonderful. If the systems check out, I should be able to take it for another test run. I've got to run a short end, Miss Strickland. I suggest you think about what I've been saying. Oh, I will. When did you land this time? Nine hours and 37 minutes ago. Ouch. Frankly, yeah. it started to get a little difficult to avoid running into myself. Still, the time jump yielded some interesting new data on the flux field. I'll run some more tests, and we'll see what we find. Sounds like a plan, Doc. Alright, while well, we're waiting for the diagnostic light to turn green, let's go and check on Emmett. Give him a algae cake. See if he'd How's like it that. Hanging, Emmett? 
No, no, no time for small talk. I've got machines to tune and mind maps to sort. All right. Well, I brought you some food. Hope this is good for you. Damn it. Need a snack? Desperately. What is it? Some sort of algae cake. It's supposed to be nutritious. Oh, I've heard of these. They better be really nutritious. <laughs> Negative thoughts. Keep thinking those bad thoughts. Damn it. I'll need you to be degenerate criminal for a little while longer. Is the light green? Hey, the light's green. Sweet. Doc. Need you to take it out for one more test run, and I think we're good to go. I need to talk to you. Excuse me, my dear. Yes? Go take it out. Your chronometer's gone green again. Excellent. Let's hope this time my test run is a success. I'm sorry to desert you again. Yes, well, you've left me with plenty to think about. Must go faster. Yeah. Any luck this time? Depends what you mean by luck. My arrival time was off again. By how much? Eight hours this time. Gave me the chance to take in three showings of Frankenstein. Good movie. A bit implausible from a scientific perspective, but I can see how my younger self would have been mesmerized. What about the DeLorean? Oh, yes. I did get one critical piece of information. The chromium elements in my circuits became unstable during the temporal shift. I should replace them with titanium. Great! Now, unfortunately, titanium won't become commercially available till the coal process is perfected in nine years. Nine years? But there may be another solution. I'm going to fire up the chronometric analyzer again. Then, while I'm stalling in there, you can... Uh-oh. Where did it go? The lab! Stop! You better get down there before she makes the situation impossible. I'll tend to the DeLorean. All right, before I head off to the lab... Swipe. Age to perfection. Yeah. Hey, Emmett, I'm back. Uh. <clears throat> oh, my. What are you two doing? You know, I thought you were coming down here to keep Emmett focused on his invention. No, oh, she is. But she's generously scheduled brief canoodling breaks every 45 minutes to keep my mind fresh. Time's up, dear. Let's get back to work. Shall we? Now, Mr. Crockett, what can I do for you? I... Carl Sagan wants to talk to you again. Mr. Sagan says he needs to talk to you back at the high school. He does? Whatever for? Uh, I think he has a lead on the speakeasy arsonist. He says he's got a lead on the speakeasy arsonist. He does, does he? Well, I'm not sure anyone cares about that old story anymore. But I suppose I could spare a few minutes in the service of solving a crime. Will you be all right without me, sweetheart? It'll be tough, but I think I'll muddle through. Try to keep him focused. He's so easily distracted. And you're so oh, easily wish. focused. However, now that we got our spray bottle aged to perfection, there you go, Emmett. Hmm. There it is. I've been looking all over for my portable anti-stick, anti-stain formula. Where'd you find it? Um, out by the trash? That's strange. I haven't been out there for hours. Oh well. Are you gonna spray your jacket? It's looking a little dusty. Not until it's really dirty. This cleanser doesn't grow on trees, you know. Well, some of the ingredients grow on trees, but the rest are synthesized polycarbonate really detergent dirty? blends. I can do that. I'll wait until you're at the expo to show Edna what a suit-destroying slob you can be. Well, that's about it. It is? Yep. As soon as I get all this stuff loaded into the truck, I'll be ready for the expo. Wanna lend me a hand? Sure. Uh, how about I go tell Edna you're coming? I'll, uh, get her ready for you to pop the question. Good thinking. 
Go on ahead. I'll meet you there. I really hope this works. I hope it does too. Doing all this kind of makes me feel really nasty, Marty. Marty! Doc! So, what's all the act what's all the activity? What's all the hustle and bustle? It's almost time for the opening ceremony. Holy jeez, I better work fast. I think I got it all worked out. When it all comes together, Edna will think you're the worst guy in town. I just need a couple more pieces. Well, don't go to too much trouble. What do you mean? Oh. Uh, you, you got Edna to call it off? You got Edna to break things off? Not exactly. You see, I, I've been mulling things over, and... Uh... Uh, in the timeline you're from... The right timeline? Yes, yes. Uh, I've got a wife. A great wife. Clara, and kids, and a dog, and a bitch in time train, and... And Edna? How does her story turn out? How does she end up? She... Oh, well, Edna ends up... Um... I, I can't tell you, Doc. It's kind of best not to know. You're not really supposed to know these things in advance. It's... it's bad luck. But you told me how my story turns out. Yeah, but... And it's not as if I'll be in a position to do anything about it once my younger counterpart's destiny has shifted. I imagine I'll be folded into the new timeline. And I'll probably lose all memory of the old one. Maybe. So tell me, just to satisfy my curiosity, what's going to become of Edna? She is... <sighs> Better to tell a lie. She's, uh, she's doing great. She's got a full life, lots of friends, always busy. She's got a fellow? Uh, sure, uh, lots of them. Lots of them? She's a tramp? No, no, uh, what I meant to say was... Let's start over. How does Edna end up? You're gonna make me... Damn it, Doc. I don't want to tell you at all. To be honest, she ends up kind of... sad. Sad? She lives with some cats in a dinky little apartment, and... She spends most of her time yelling out her window at people, and collecting newspapers, and living in the past. I see. Back when Perhaps times are more simple. We've been going about this problem the wrong way. Do we really have to completely obliterate my timeline so we can restore yours? Doc? Maybe we could have the best of both worlds. I could be with Edna, but it could be a little bit, you know, more healthy. Can you hear yourself? Do, do you know what you're saying? Let me remind you. Uh, she tried to erase stuff. Doc, she tried to erase your brain. Oh, she was terrible. No argument. Horrible. Oh, uh, but she started out with such pure intentions. So did Nero. I don't believe this! All I'm saying is, let's stop and take a breath. This elaborate plan to derail my younger self's love life, is the short-term misery worth the long-term gain? Maybe we can find a third way. One where everybody wins. What do you think? Uh... I... No. You do know that the road to hell is paved with good intentions, right? I can't. I'm sorry, Doc. No! I'm sorry, Doc. I can't go along with what you're saying. You don't belong with Edna. So you're determined to break us up, in spite of my stated wishes? Basically, yeah. Then there's nothing left to say. Where, where are you going? Why should it matter to you? Aren't you planning on overriding me? Doc, you're gonna. Ah, man, what did you do now, Marty? I 
we really going to go through with this? I think we'll go through with this next time, guys. This is Yu Tiang for this signing off, saying keep things frosty.